Hi everyone, welcome to another Binance tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can transfer your coins from one wallet to another. If you are new to my YouTube channel, my name is Femi Olani and I make videos on personal finance, cryptocurrencies and the stock market. So if you love money conversations and you really want to make money, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and please and please guys, like this video. Now to how you can transfer coins from one wallet to another. Now there are two scenarios to this. Now the first one is, let's say if you want to transfer coins from your Binance account to let's say your Roku account or maybe KuCoin account or if you have um, Oddbit account or any other account. Now that's the first scenario. Now this is what you have to do. You have to make sure that you have LTC which is Litecoin or BCH which is Bitcoin Cash in your wallet. Now why did I say Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash? This is because in case you don't know if you are sending Bitcoin or ETH from one wallet to another bitcoin or ethereum the transaction fee is too high is always too high but if you are sending ltc which is litecoin or bch which is um bitcoin cash from one wallet to another the transaction fee is very very low so i will advise you use ltc or bch so i'll check my wallet and see if i have ltc so all I, let's say I want to send Bitcoin from my Binance account to my Roku account. For this video, I'll be using my Roku account. So all I have to do is just convert my Bitcoin to um, my to Litecoin. So I'll just go to um, trade. I'll just um, LTC. So LTC slash um, BTC. Yeah. So I'll just click on um, buy. So I'll click on buy. Convert my Bitcoin to LTC. So after clicking on buy, then I'll go to my wallet and I'll see my um, Litecoin. So you can see I have Litecoin already in my wallet. So now the next thing for you is to um, tap on withdraw. You can see deposit, withdraw, transfer. So you tap on withdraw. Then after tapping on withdraw, you see, then you will see all the coins you have in your wallet. So you just, uh, just search for LTC. Just search for LTC. Then you click on LTC. Then your um, this will paste the wallet address here the network and the amount so the next thing is to go to the other account you have so i'll go to my roku account and copy my ltc wallet address so this is my ltc i'll click on ltc receive ltc then copy so i'll just copy this is the wallet uh, this is the wallet address combination of letters and numbers is always long so you just copy so once i copy then i'll go back to my binance account and i'll paste it here paste so I'll select the network. Now there are different networks here. So the network I'm going to select is LTC. I'm going to select LTC. LTC confirm. Now there are, you can have um, ERC20, you can have um, Binance Chain, you can have um, Bitcoin, you can have, there are different networks. For if you are sending LTC, you select LTC. If you are um, sending BCH, you select um, BCH. If you are sending, if you are sending, um, yeah, if you are sending ETH or USDT or USDC, you select um, ERC20. So there are different networks. So because I'm sending um, Litecoin, I'll select LTC. So I've selected LTC. Then the next thing is to um, impute the amount of Litecoin I want to send. So I'll just say 0. Point, let me let me say 0, 0.01. So let me say 0, 0.01. Then the next thing is to click on withdraw. Then you see you will get 0. 0.009. LTC then transaction fee is 0.001 LTC the transaction fee is low compared to Bitcoin or Ethereum if you are sending Bitcoin or Ethereum is always too high so I, I will once again I will advise that if you want to send let's say Bitcoin or Ethereum convert it to LTC and then send LTC to the other wallet so I'll click on confirm and then I'll be sent a code to my phone number and then to my email and then i will enter the code here and click on submit so because i'm i'm not sending any coin now so i'm not going to click on send code so once you enter the code sent to your phone number and your wallet and your email address then just input the codes here and click on submit and you will receive your coin in your roku account now the second scenario is let's say you want to send to a friend to one of your friends you want to send um, um a coin to one of your friends now all you have to do is just convert your coin to LTC as I've done earlier, I just come to trade, convert it to um, um Bitcoin, sorry, to uh, Litecoin, and then you go to your wallet and then click on withdraw, then you ask for the, then you click, uh, click on LTC, then you ask for the uh, LTC wallet address of your friend, LTC wallet address of your friend, make sure you select the, make sure you um, get the right wallet address, because if you send your coin to the wrong wallet address, I don't think you might retrieve your coin again. So you make sure you get the right wallet address. So you um, input the, your friend's um, LTC wallet address here. Enter the network, which is LTC again. 
and then you enter the amount and then you click on withdraw so that is how you can transfer coins from one wallet to another a lot of people don't know that when they use litecoin the transaction fee is low so the people the people are still sending bitcoin and they are still you know are wasting their transaction fee and all of that but if you want um to send coins with lower transaction fees make sure you are using litecoin or bitcoin cash so that is all i have for you today guys i hope you've learned one thing or the other from this video if you want me to do another binance tutorial video just drop the topic in the comment section don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you guys in the next video